Lewis again landing at a huge rate with his power punches, but Rachman threw almost exactly twice as many. In this instance, busier was better, busier won big. Let's go to Larry Merchant with a new chance. Thank you, thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Rock. Tell us what what happened in there. Why are you now the heavyweight champion of the world? Oh well, I kept kept my prayers in order. I kept my team right. I just want to say Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah. Uh, and I want to say to the state of Maryland, my mother can take her job and shove it. She ain't working there no more. And uh, I just felt like I told y'all the whole time I was here. I felt a sense of calm and confidence. I didn't get nervous not one time since the fight was made. I wasn't nervous in the dressing room. My father made do I. Power do I is unbelievable. All right, uh, I felt like you know he came out and tried to dictate the fate. And uh, he has a very strong jab, very good right here. And uh, I felt like. Mark, let me ask a question in here. Let me get in a, a word. Come on now, I'm the champion of the world now, Lyle. You gotta let me talk a little bit. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Lyle. <laughs> All right. Do you do you do you feel that the long preparation you did here in Africa as well as back in America is the reason that you had that calm? And, the, and gave you an edge over him. Well, I believe that uh, I never really took an opponent serious to the fact where I thought he could beat me, except Lennox Lewis. I felt like if I didn't train properly, he would have the edge. I kept my prayers in order, I did all my training, and I came over to it, you see, one punch, one punch power with the right hand. I mean, give me some props. Let's, let's see, all right, let's take a look at the one punch Here and tell us what was happening. Let's see it. Did that punch earlier in the round set this up? Well, I felt like, uh, That should be rated R. Anyway, uh, I felt like uh, we, actually, we accidentally hit, but and uh, he tried to he tried to take advantage of me. Must have said like Troy Sanders when I was wiping my eye. They try to come get me when they see me. Like I feel like I'm vulnerable, so they come try to get me. And when they come try to get me, a hurt man is a dangerous man. So when they come get me, I just you know come to law, let it go. What was your plan coming into the fight? Because it seemed that you came out and threw about eight or ten jabs to his stomach in the first round. Well, I, I wanted to hit him to the body, and I felt like the longer the fight go, regardless of whether we was in altitude or not, that I, I mean, I have a very, very strong jab. Anybody can attest to that who's been in the ring with me. And I knew it would take its toll on him. There's no excuses. We ain't getting to the later rounds like everybody predicted. I wouldn't have a chance in one through five. What round was it, number Did five? You, his mouth was oh. open. As early as the second round, did well, that signal to you that he was having a problem? Well, uh, I was I know Lennox Lewis is a very cagey veteran. He got Emmanuel Scott in the corner. Everybody was talking about the altitude. He could have been trying to bait me in. So I wasn't really paying attention to that. So now you showed or you showed him why he needed a return match clause in the contract. Well, it don't make me a difference. I'm going to stay with my prayers, stay with the right faith. I believe that uh, power do I stand in my faith. I mean, as long as I continue to be in this box game, I'm going to have a measure of success, inshallah. Allahu Akbar. What next? Well, I'm going to leave it to you, you know. I'd like to come back to South Africa and defend. The people of South Africa, I love you. I love South Africa. Rodney Brown and Sandra Christa, bring me back. Bring me back. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right. You love South Africa so much. We want to show a little bit more of the fifth round, the right hand that seemed to set up the later sequence that came in and led to the knockout blow. Did you feel that he was just posturing at the end there when he was... He was making believe that you hadn't hurt him at all? No, I felt like, uh, I believe that when I hit somebody, I hurt him. What degree, I'm not sure. But uh, I was going to keep to my, my game plan unless I was out cold. That's the thing. I'm going to fight until I'm out cold. You know that, line. That's why y'all bring me back, because you know I'm going to fight, regardless of who y'all put me in the ring with. No Lennox and Tyson! No Lennox and Tyson! No Lennox and Tyson! Hey, I fight Tyson. We can bring Tyson right here to South Africa, and I'd like to give props to my man. My, my, my trainer, Adrian Frenchy Davis, for being given the man's daughter's first title loss in the heavyweight championship fight. Steve Nelson, Stan Hoffman. Oh, yes. Yes, Mac Lewis also. Must cross to Mac Lewis. First gym I ever went to. I got you, Mr. Mack. Respect, man. Respect. Baltimore, number one. Love y'all. Hey, Mel Malley, get it ready for me. 
All right, we're going to roll this tape because we want people to see it, again see the early right hand in that round, which perhaps 20 or 30 or 40 seconds goes. Describe what you see. Well, I know Lennox, you know, I felt like I was cut. I thought he was coming on. I felt like that was a good right hand, but uh, like I said, he didn't come right back when I was spent around, so I felt like I might have stunned him a little bit. But Lennox is in shape. It's KG veteran. I wasn't sure, so... You know, you can't take too many chances with a guy like Lennox Lewis. A great champion, you take nothing away from him, and uh, we, can, we can do it again. Thank you very much, champ.